This video will walk you through the task of compressing your WordPress site so that it will load much faster in your visitor's browser. Now, adding code to your website server can be scary, but my goal with this video is to help you increase the load speed of your WordPress site and remove all that scariness along the way. Now, what we're going to do is use something called gzip compression. Now, if you have ever downloaded and unzipped a zip file or right-clicked on a file and zipped it up, well, then you are kind of familiar with this gzip process because it's pretty much the same thing, only the zipping and unzipping is done automatically and your site is served up in your visitor's browser at around 50 to 70 percent of a smaller size. So first off, I want to show you a test on my website before the compression, then we're going to do the compression, then we're going to retest to see the almost instant speed increase. And by the way, there are several ways that I'm going to be showing you how you can actually compress your sites. So with that said, off to the test. This is the site here that we're going to be testing and compressing and then retesting. I'm going to go ahead and copy that URL into my clipboard. This is the site that I'm going to use to test the compression. Now there's quite a few of these online compression test sites that you can check with, but this is just one of them that I'm going to be using in this video. So right here, and by the way, whenever you get here, what's my IP.org? Come on down here, click on HTTP compression right here. Enter the URL to test. Click on test. Gives you a nice little sad sound. Eh, sorry. And of course, this big red stop sign looking thing that tells you that it is not compressed. But it tells you right here, if it were compressed, the potential savings and what it is and what it could be. Now then, let's go ahead and clear this out. Refresh. And by the way, this right here tells you if the browser that you're using, and currently I'm in the latest Chrome browser, is good for compressing content. And this is usually the case in most all current browsers. Older Firefox or that browser called Netscape, some of you might be aware of, some of those did not process compressed content. So there were issues then. But most of the browsers nowadays, that's not an issue at all. But this is good to know that if you get the green check mark, that your browser is good. So the first way is the easiest, and that's going to your cPanel control panel, coming on down here to optimize website, and usually, in mine anyway, usually you're going to find that in the software services panel close to the bottom. So if your cPanel control panel has this, then this is the best way to go, the easiest way to go. Click on that, compress all content, click on update settings, go back. Now let's come on back here, run that test again, click on test. Ta da and we're good. Okay, so let's try another way. Refresh. Come on back here, and let's disable this again. Because what if you do not have cPanel, or what if you do have cPanel, but you don't have the Optimize Website option on your cPanel? Then, you want to hunt down your HT access. Actually, it's called the .ht access file. And while I'm here, let's go ahead and go to the File Manager. You can do the same thing through your FTP client. Now let's go ahead and right click and go to edit or code edit either way. Actually, let's go to code edit because that puts the numbers on the lines here. And this pops up here because this is a WordPress site and I've used the permalinks feature. Let's go ahead and put my cursor right there. Let's take a look at some of the code options that we have to work with here. Now, a quick history. There are two different types of gzip for your Apache server. And this is something that's beyond your control. Usually this is only going to be done through your hosting account. So what I would suggest first and foremost is go ahead and contact your hosting account, whether it's HostGator, Liquid Web, whoever, and ask them if they have gzip enabled on the server, and if they do, which one? Is it mod underscore gzip, or is it mod underscore deflate? And of course, if they don't have it enabled, either one, then go ahead and ask them to enable it and to let you know which one and what is the code they suggest you use in your .ht access file. Let's go ahead and try this one here because I believe that on this particular hosting account, it is mod deflate. And I've got these two codes here. Both of these will work for the mod deflate. And then down here, I've got a code right here that will work for the mod gzip. And you can kind of tell that this one is mod gzip. And this one here has got the deflate in there all over the place. And this one here is 
mod deflate. So these two will work if it's mod deflate. So let's go ahead and just copy all this in here and just paste that at the end. Okay, that didn't work out right. Let's undo that. Control Z will undo that. And let's go ahead and format, take that off. And try this again. There we go. And let's save. I'm going to go ahead and leave this open because I'm going to change this here in a second. So let's come on back here and run that test again. Okay, so that one works. So that's two ways that you can add the G-Zip compression to your site. One way you have control over, and that's using the cPanel control panel and the optimized website option. Another way is you really don't have a whole lot of control over it if it's not enabled, but you need to contact your web hosting service to make sure that it is enabled and to find out which option they chose, mod deflate or mod G-Zip. Now another way, and this is only good if you've got a PHP based site, that being WordPress in this case, or that you want to play around and actually try to just change your .html site into a .php site. That will usually work, but sometimes it can cause issues, but that's beyond the scope of this video. Go ahead and refresh our test page, and let's go ahead and come back here and close this out, because we're pretty well done here. I'm going to go ahead and delete that though. Close. Whoops, I didn't save it. Darn it. Let's try this again. Delete that. Save changes. So right now we are un-gzipped. Now we can close. And just to double check that we're no longer gzipped. Run the test. No longer gzipped. Okay, so that's what I'm looking for. Let's just refresh. And we're done here. Get out of here. And we're pretty well done here as well, so I'm going to go ahead and log out of here. So what I want to do at this point is log into the dashboard area of our WordPress site. And I've already done that. And if you're not familiar with how to do that, there's plenty of tutorials online. Basically, you just put in your URL slash wp-admin. You'll probably be prompted to enter your username and password. And then just log in, and you'll end up somewhere like this. At this point, you want to come into the Appearance panel. Go down to Editor. And you want to come over here to the far right and click on header. So that will bring you to the header.php file. Because this code, this bottom one here, let me pull this up. This little code right here, you want to put this at the very top of every one of your PHP pages. And if it's a WordPress site, you can tackle that by putting it at the very top of your header.php file. That in turn will show up on every single one of your pages. Let's go ahead and copy this. Hopefully that made sense. Okay, so now then you will, whenever you first open up the editor here, chances are you're going to be in the style.css. So you want to click on the header.php file here. That will open up the header.php page. And when I say at the very top, I mean at the very top. Put your cursor right there. Hit your enter key a couple of times. Well, just once anyway. And right above the very top code is where you paste that one little bitty line of code. Come on down here, click on Update File. Now really, this you can't get much simpler than that. You don't have to go into the HT Access file. All you got to do is log into the dashboard area of your WordPress site, enter that one little code at the very top of the header.php file, save it, come on back to our test page, click on Test. Boom. Simple Simon. Now you have zero excuse on compressing your website content and you can see right here the amount of savings that you're getting not only is this going to load faster in your visitors browser which is going to make them happy but it's also going to save you bandwidth in the process so it's a win-win-win for everybody that's going to bring us to the end of this video on using gzip compression for your wordpress site thanks for watching and you have a great day